Hey everyone, I am excited to have you on board today. We are going to talk about less well-known cities near Port St. Lucie. Let's be real. No, not everyone wants to live in the biggest city in the Treasure Coast. And there are perks to living in smaller towns and cities. And so we are going to visit our top five today. And we're starting right now. I'm Natalia Reinhardt. Thanks for joining me today. I am a realtor with Home Sweet Home Realty. And if you are interested in all things Treasure Coast, where to live, where to eat, where to play, then be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We publish new videos every week. So let's get started with our top five less well-known cities near Port St. Lucie. Numero uno. Numero uno is Jensen Beach. Jensen Beach is located south of Port St. Lucie. It shares the county line with Port St. Lucie, which is in St. Lucie County, and Jensen Beach is in Martin County. Jensen Beach is one of my favorite towns that we're speaking about, although I don't live there. It is on the coast, so you have the mainland of Jensen Beach that is mostly single family homes, the median sale price, it starts at 300,000 and it goes up. Then you cross the bridge heading to Hutchinson Island and there, that strip of Jensen Beach, you're looking at mostly condos and lots of beaches, obviously. And one of the best things you can find is not a crowded beach. There's many different spots you can park at and you can hang out and chill out, whether on the beach side or on the intercoastal side, which is a lot more laid back and flat waters. So your little kiddos can also play. Now, Jensen Beach, although it is technically a small town by the number of residents, you're looking at maybe 13,000. It is in between two very popular cities like Port St. Lucie and Stewart. So Stewart is south of Jensen Beach. So when it comes down to it, although it is a small town, it definitely has a city vibe. I do most of my shopping in Jensen Beach. You definitely have more of the major chain um, restaurants and you also have the major chain uh, you know, stores, you know, whether it's Target or Andy, City Furniture, just normal big city stores and restaurants you can find off of US 1 and yet yeah, come downtown area and it's super quaint and charming with local restaurants mom and pop shops that you it's just cool to hang out and the vibe is super laid back so it definitely is a lot more approachable if you are looking for small town yet yeah, city vibe then that one's it Jensen Beach Numero dos is Sebastian. It is in the most northern town in the Treasure Coast, so north of Port St. Lucie, north of Vero Beach. It is on the coast, so you definitely get, you know, the beaches, you get your waves if you're into surfing and so forth, maybe fishing. It's great to live there for that. One of the things that people might not know about Sebastian is the surfing community. It has great surf, you have the inlet there, and it's really well known for big pros to practice there, their surfing. You're looking at about 27,000 residents, so you would consider it more like a medium-sized town or a small city. And when it comes down to it, it is really well known for, dun dun dun, dun retirees now sebastian is one of the many in the treasure coast of uh, in many places that uh, retirees can consider living at um but it's really catered to retirees there's a very large 55 plus community there um you're looking at different places to live that will cater and prices that will make it really comfortable for you to retire whether it's seasonal or long term however there's still families there. It still has a good, you know, vibe for growing families. Homes range, um, you know, from a little bit in the 200s and up, but you're looking at a median sales price of 235. And so check it out if that is a place that you think you're interested in. 
Number three, numero tres, we have Hope Sound. It is south of Port St. Lucie and Stewart. It is a coastal town. It is probably one of the best areas if you're looking for the beach, outdoors activities, and you still have a lot of space in the mainland. It has approximately 13,000 residents. You do have a good variety of homes, single family, you do have your condos, um, yet you have a lot of associations and you don't have a lot of inventory. Availability is a little bit low, lower than some areas in the Treasure Coast. The median sales price of a home is about $300,000 at the time of this recording. So if you're really interested in looking to maybe retire there, it is a great spot for retirees. And if you see a place that you like, you really have to jump on it when it comes to that area. Now, if you are looking for space, if you are looking to explore the outdoors, Hope Sound is home of Jonathan Dickinson State Park, one of the best Florida parks here. And there's lots to do. Something as crazy as dirt bike riding, like they have a trail for that. They have, um, you know, equestrian on trails and bird watching. It's just a great park. One of the best things about Hope Sound is that it's unincorporated Martin County. So when it comes to land use, you have more flexibility in what you would like to do. Hope Sound has the space for other fun activities outdoors. And yeah, it's one of the best places you can retire. So if you do have an active outdoor lifestyle and you still want a quiet town of, you know, laid back um, feel, then check out Hope Sound. Numero cuatro is Vero Beach. Vero Beach is north of Port St. Lucie and south of Sebastian. It has approximately 17,000 residents and it is on the coast. It is one of the areas that you will find a large spread of home inventory. So if you're looking for an affordable home, you can definitely find those in Vero Beach. The median sales price of a home there is actually 156,000. So it's one of the lower ones in the Treasure Coast. There are lots of 55 plus communities, single family homes and condos, lots of waterfront um, homes. When it comes to even clubs and resorts, you will definitely find lots to choose from there. Golf is still very accessible. <laughs> the golf is life. You will find that the median age is 54. So it's another hotspot for retirees, but there's still lots of families there. Um, I would say the middle of Vero Beach, um, the mainland is definitely more family oriented. Growing families are there and there's some good schools that you can find. Vero Beach is known for its undisturbed coastline. So there's not large buildings or whatnot. You still have your hotels, but it doesn't block the view. This is one of the things that they're best known for and they love it. It's their pride and joy. Lots of galleries to explore, very low key. Again, great if you're looking to retire there, whether seasonally or full time. We are finally at number five. Numero cinco, it is Indian Town. Indian Town is located southwest of Port St. Lucie. It is not on the coast. Yep, it is the first place I said that it's not on the coast. Indian Town is a true village. It has approximately 7,000 residents. Very charming area. Everyone really does know each other there by name. Um, very supportive um, community that you can really consider if you're not looking for the beaches. It is known as cattle and citrus country and it really has a very charming um, history. It has ties to British royalty. It is true old Florida to the point where Hollywood has even filmed some movies there. So 
great place to at least explore if you're interested in looking at old school Florida. If you want to live there, the median sales price for a home there is 217000 which is still very low for Florida. There's not a lot of inventory. They are big on land. They raise, you know, food there. There's, you know, cattle. There's even a lot of equestrian that they're known for. So they're not really big in development for obvious reasons. But if you were to find a spot there, um, you, you can still find really af affordable homes there. So if you're looking for land, having a homestead or anything like that, check out Indian Town. All right, I finished with my top five, but I'm really not done. I said it was my top five, but I have to include number six, Palm City. Palm City is south of Port St. Lucie, west of Stewart. Although it's not on the beach, it does have its waterways. Palm City is a highly coveted area for young families. It is the place to be if you pretty much want to guarantee that your kid is going to go to a good school. Palm City is upscale. So you're looking at about a median sales price of $390,000 home. And it just goes up from there with multi-million dollar homes. So lots of gated communities. It has lots of associations, whether they're townhomes or condos, you will find just upscale. The town itself has approximately 25,000 residents, which is one of our larger areas. And yet you still feel that the um, city construction, the way that they planned it, the roads and so forth, there's still lots of space. It doesn't feel as congested. If you are from South Florida, I would compare it to maybe Weston. It's like a Weston 2.0, but it is better. It has waterways, so it's not necessarily on the beach. Um, it does have access to the beach so you can head out with your boat um, if you're looking for a waterfront property uh, and yeah it's just one of the be best places to go to if you really want a safe area all right so we got to our top six less well-known areas around port st lucie i hope it added some value to your search if you're looking to move down to our area if you like this vi video or if it helped you out in any way please feel free to like this video ask any questions in the comments below and i will be happy to help you out in the meantime if you do want more information check out my relocation guide. It is free at the end of this video or on my YouTube channel. I am looking forward to guiding you on the Treasure Coast. My name is Natalia Reinhardt, your host to the Treasure Coast, and I will see you around town.